Hey guys, Kildare here, and this is the series where I take quotes from the masterpiece The Art of War by Sun Tzu and apply said quotes to MOBAs and online games in general to help you guys understand the philosophy and strategy behind warfare. Let's begin. Today's quote of the day is from Chapter 4, Quote 2, which reads, To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. This quote is the backbone of PvP, particularly MOBAs. This is probably one of the most important factors in PvP and should always be in the back of our minds. To elaborate, this quote is saying we shouldn't really go out there and look for a fight, not necessarily saying we should not be the aggressor in a fight or that we should not initiate the fight, but to be very mindful of your surroundings and your enemy. The first part of the quote is telling us that if we are defeated or die in a game, it is completely our fault. You died because you made a miscalculation or a mistake, and the enemy team took full advantage of it. The sooner a person accepts that the defeat that they have just suffered was their fault and all future defeats are caused by their actions, the sooner that person can improve their performance significantly. Once you have learnt the mistakes that you are making that causes you to lose, you can learn how to stop making said mistakes and counter the enemy. We have all been in those games where someone who died has blamed their team for their death and says something along the lines of, what are you guys doing? Why didn't you back me up? Etc. Etc. The people that say these comments have not accepted that their actions and their actions alone are the reason they are now dead. The simple message to get across here is that every single time you are defeated, whether it be in a 1v1 situation, a team fight, any defeat that you suffer is purely your own fault. And once you have come to this realization, you can drastically improve your performance by avoiding the same mistakes in the future. Here is an example. In this example, keep the quote I said before in your mind along with this one. Hence, a skillful fighter puts himself in a position which makes defeat impossible and does not miss the moment for defeating the enemy. Now, let's continue on with the example. At the start of the game, it's expected for everyone to go to their lanes and wait for minions to come along and start the laning phase. A mistake I see very often is that people run past the gates, into the fog, or just stand there in the lane. The real question is, why would you bother to do that? There are only three possible outcomes to standing out on the gate before the minions spawn in, which is... 1. The entire enemy team is waiting for you in the fog, kills you, and from the very start of the game, your team is now behind one kill and they get experience. 2. You and the enemy could exchange blows for a little while with a very small likelihood of getting a kill but you have now taken a lot of unnecessary damage and will have to hearth back sooner, thus losing out on lane XP. 3. Nothing happens. However, you have put yourself in an unnecessary danger and the possibility of 1 and 2 happening. Unless your team is planning on a gank and you are all together, there is no reason you should be outside the gate before minions arrive in the lane. Behind the gate, there is pretty much zero chance for the enemy to kill you, and this is by far the wisest option to do before minions show up. Unless your team is ganking, then you can go and help them with that. Some people may learn this quickly and never make the mistake again. Others will learn from trial and error, and some people will just never learn. This was just an example. That was a long example, so let's move on to the second half of the quote. Defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Well, to see this in action, all we have to do is take the previous example I said and turn it around. Your team is hiding in the fog, a wild enemy appears and just waltz into the bush, everyone unloads and you guys get a kill. Good work. So if the enemy in this example followed my advice and stayed behind the gate, there would have been no chance for him to die. But the opportunity of killing said enemy was completely provided to him by his actions. But let's make it more interesting with another example. Going back to the previous episode, let's say you are good at reading your enemy. You know his moveset and his playstyle. Now, is an opportune moment to take advantage of this knowledge. Probably the easiest examples would be a team fight is about to break out. The enemy team has an abathur and he anticipates that the fight is about to begin, so he clones a powerful ally. 
Looking back at my previous episode, we should remember the four essentials to victory. Number one, heal win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Number two, he will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. Number three, he will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all of its ranks. And number four, he will win who, prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. Now put those quotes together, and all you have to do is run away. Which may seem odd, but now we have a situation where the Abathur has spawned his clone too early before the fight has begun. It is a timed clone, so he has to make the most of it while it's up. If your team disengages the enemy team, they have two options. Number one, cut their losses and accept they cannot win this team fight because Abathur used his clone too early, and without it, winning a team fight will be impossible. Number two, try to re-engage the enemy to make the most of his clone. If they go for option 2, defeat is almost certain. Since they have to chase to re-engage, they will probably have to overextend, putting the enemy team in a really bad spot. Secondly, once the clone has expired, the ally team can engage knowing they will win, not only because the clone expired, but now the enemy is heavily overextended into their territory and must travel farther to get to safety. This whole opportunity was provided by Abathur although your own wits and skills will have impact on winning. Monitoring the enemy for any mistakes and taking advantage of them is key to getting kills and securing victory. These mistakes can be anything like overextending, using valuable moves at the wrong time, either too early or too late, etc. Moving on, we have quote 3, which reads... Thus, a good fighter is able to secure himself against defeat, but cannot make certain of defeating the enemy. So I have spoken a lot about taking advantage of the enemy's mistakes, and also about trying to improve your own game, trying to minimize your own faults and mistakes in said game. Something important to keep in mind is that you should try to improve your own actions before going in deep and trying to kill an enemy. Try not to misinterpret this, it's still okay to go out and get kills, but be mindful of your own actions before you try to conquer your enemy through his errors. This goes back to the quote I said in the previous video, to know yourself and to know your enemy. First thing is first, know yourself and know your own faults, errors, mistakes, and weaknesses. This should all come first. After all, you could spend all your time trying to hone in on your enemy's faults, and now you know him like the back of your hand. However, once this match is over, you might not ever see that particular enemy ever again. At least if you know yourself, you know you have that knowledge indefinitely, as I don't think you'll be going anywhere anytime soon. In other words, try to see any mistakes that you are making right now and try to minimize them. For example, do you stick with one build every single game? No matter who your allies are or your enemies, you use the same build which works out sometimes, but sometimes you lose as well, or you die a lot, or you're not topping the damage meters. This is something that you could work on, try to be proactive to counter things that cause you to lose. This quote backs up this mentality. Thus, it is that in war, the victorious strategist only seeks battle after the victory has been won. Whereas he who is destined to defeat, first fights, and afterwards looks for victory. So for example, do you struggle against versing a Nova or Zeratuls? Learn how to track their movements, break their stealth before they can attack, and play something that would counter them. Learn how to play Tassadar, Brightwing, and Karazim, etc, etc. When playing a PvP oriented game of any sort, try to keep the mindset of an internal student. Always be keen on learning new tactics, anything that can help you improve your own gameplay. Something that I normally do while I am dead and waiting to respawn is I think what caused me to die, what mistakes did I make and how do I avoid them in the future. Minimize the number of mistakes you can make in a game and the number of errors or miscalculations and you will be invincible. Which leads me to the last quote of the day which summarizes everything I've said. He wins his battles by making no mistakes. Making no mistakes is what establishes the certainty of victory, for it means conquering an enemy that is already defeated. 
Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out there on the battlefield. Like if this helped you, feel free to leave a comment if you like or want to ask me something. And of course, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. You might enjoy watching me play some games with commentary or some of my own funnier moments. Have a good one.